Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Leo here, and today I found a really amazing list. The list is called the Pokemon CP tier list. For today, I'm going to show you guys what the S tier Pokemon are. You guys know what CP are, those are combat points, and in Pokemon Go, that means how strong your Pokemon could be. So effectively, since these Pokemon are S tier, that means these Pokemon can become the strongest Pokemon in the game. Now, this guy on Reddit has been having people post in information in their forms and everything and I suggest you guys go there too I'll have a link down below and if you guys can help give more data we'll be able to find out more and more accurate information but so far what this guy has gotten is that um there's a basic or an average amount of CP per power up now this is every time you power up your Pokemon using Stardust and everything you want to do with that now the strongest Pokemon actually you know, let's start from the bottom and let's work our way up so the weakest of the S tier is Muck, who gets 38 CP per Stardust. Now that's freaking huge, and Muck is actually a really good Pokemon. I'm surprised, I'm actually surprised Muck is that high up. There's other Pokemon I thought should have been higher up or would have. And it's actually funny because there's no starters on this list either. Another one is going to be Gyarados and Vaporeon, which are actually in the same bracket because they both get 39 CP per evolution. Which actually makes Vaporeon the strongest EV evolution because the rest are not on this list. Gyarados also is pretty insane, but Gyarados being so low on the CP list actually really confuses me because to evolve a Gyarados, it costs 500 Magikarp candies to evolve, which is just insane. So the fact that this Pokemon CP is so low is just very confusing. Now these two surprise me because they're actually kind of common to get because I've gotten a lot of Executes and a lot of Growlithes. But Growlithe and Executor get 40 CP per evolution which is insane. That's awesome. So if you guys have gotten a Growlithe that's pretty high high uh, CP and you want to evolve it, you better do that as soon as possible. And you should only start leveling it up once it's an Arcanine because you're going to be losing a lot of CP if you don't. Especially with Execute also. I was unfortunate enough to get a level, eight, um, sorry, a CP base of 808 Executor, and I'm actually benefiting the reward so much. These last three make a lot of sense because they're rare, but Lapras gets 43 CP. I haven't found one yet. I know some people that did get one and we're going to go to the same location later on today to get it, but 43 CP per evolution is just insane. I can't believe he got that. Like, that's just insane. A bunch of people got it, but we're going to go try getting ours later on today. But these are the Pokemon you should shoot for from here on out. Go for Lapras. The next one's Snorlax. Now Snorlax, I don't even know how people have been getting it, but Snorlax has 45 CP for evolution and that's pretty insane. Snorlax is pretty hard to get. I haven't seen one yet either and hopefully I get one soon. And the number one S tier rated CP based Pokemon is going to be Dragonite. So the Pokemon right now that can be the strongest is going to be Dragonite, which gets a total of 47 CP per level up. Now me, I haven't even have any information on it. I don't know when how to evolve it. I don't even know where to get Jatini's. Hopefully when training's available, I could snag my hands on a Dragonite. But until then, it's a dream. So these are the Pokemon you guys should be looking out for. Look out for Dragonite, Snorlax, Lapras, any Arcanines and Executors, Gyaradoses, Vaporeons, or Mucks. If you get these Pokemon, these Pokemon are gonna set you ahead so much. Now, I'm not sure these Pokemon are good for attacking or defending. I'm actually gonna do a separate video on that later. But for now, these are the Pokemon you wanna go if you just want high CP based Pokemon. So with that, I'm gonna get going and I'll see you guys next time. Later guys, bye.